All right, my friends, <clears throat> here we go with another fantastic Revit video. Just recently, someone was asking me, how do I make a furniture schedule that has the, um, the name and the number or the, the room that it's in? In other words, a room schedule that's got listed all the furniture that's in that room. This was an interior designer company. And they said, we need a schedule that lists the room and it has every single piece of furniture that's in it listed. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in case you don't know. So it's pretty straightforward, but here we go. I'm gonna share my screen, share screen with you. Okay, so here we go. Let me just show you the plan first. Mm -hmm. Here we go. This is the plan. I've got the furniture turned purple for you, for your viewing pleasure, so that you can see it. And I'll even make my face bigger and screen right here so you can see me. Okay. Not that it's important to see me, but I just like to see myself. <laughs> oh, that sounds narcissistic. But here we go. <clears throat> what I've got here is the furniture turned purple so that you can see it. And I have a schedule. I'm going to just zoom up here and I'll show you. I've got a schedule, a furniture schedule that shows the rooms. Okay, so let's just turn that on for a sec. Look at this. The conference room, it says the conference room has got four chairs, four, see it? Four chairs, one rectangular table and one flat screen TV. Well, let's go back to the plan and see if that's true. Conference room, one, two, three, four chairs, rectangle table, and look at that flat screen TV. Let's go back to the schedule, take a look. It says there's a, a oh, the reception, the open office is upstairs. We're not going to show that right now. I just want to show you. The reception downstairs has one chair, I mean, desk, chair and one desk and look storage the storage room storage has some shelving in it waiting room here we go waiting has a chair two um 12 what oh not 12 chairs it has two chairs and i just have a 12 in the name of furniture objects so okay you got to forgive me for trying to stay organized okay i'm going to go back to my plan and see if it's true yes the reception has a chair and a desk and the waiting has two chairs. It's true, it's actually showing the name of the room and the objects that are in it and how many of each object. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. I'm gonna do it right now. So in fact, I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna highlight that furniture schedule and hit delete. Oh, it's gone, I can't remember how to do it, but I'm gonna try to figure it out with you. So here we go, I'm gonna try to figure it out. <clears throat> no, actually, I remember how, but I want to show you guys. So here we go. We're going to go to view and we're going to click on schedule. Okay. Now that on the schedule drop down, the first thing at the top are schedules and quantities of actual objects in your project. So that's the one we want because we're going to get a list of schedule of the uh, furniture. We want a furniture schedule because we want the attributes that come along with the furniture. Maybe we want to know what floor they're on. Maybe we want to know, know what room they're in. We might want to know their manufacturer. We might want to know a lot of information. But the most important thing that I wanted to show you right now is the room that they're in and what's in it and how many of each item. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So here is the name. Okay, we're going to go to get a furniture schedule. Okay, and we're going to call it furniture schedule um, room they are in. Okay, just going to show you. Okay, <clears throat> so now what comes up next after you come up with a name for your schedule is the, 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 the fields for furniture are listed here. So that's the family and type. That's good. So I want that. So I want to know what's in the room. And I want to know how many count. I want to know how many are in the room. So, but I don't see room name and room number here. That's because you've got to come up here. These are the fields that are available for furniture. 
if you click this, you can switch it to room. And these are the fields that are available for the room that the furniture's in. So the room name is what we want right now, room name, okay? I'm gonna move it up to the top. Up. So the room name's gonna be listed first and then the family type and then how many. So I'm gonna say, okay, and it's gonna do it. It's gonna make this list for me. And it's kind of all jammed together. Like that, okay? And I wanna separate some things out a little bit. So let me click on sorting and grouping because I want to sort these a little bit. I want to push them apart so that the reception is pushed away from the waiting, is pushed away from, you know, I want to separate these with a blank line in between each of the room names. So here we go. Go to sorting and grouping for this. And we want to sort this thing by the room name, okay? And it's going to go in ascending order, so it's alphabetical. And then I want to put a blank line in between each of the room names. That makes sense. So I'm going to say, OK, and you can take a look. Boom. What it did is it put it in alphabetical order, and it put a blank line in between each one. That's exactly what we wanted it to do. Now, do we really need it to say conference room, conference room, conference room, conference room, conference room, conference room, conference room? No, we don't. We could have a header at the top and then get rid of that whole column. So let me just show you. That's, that's just pretty obvious that these are all in the open office when it says it this many times. But let's, let me show you. So go back to sorting and grouping. And here on the list, you can put a header. So it'll take the room name and use it as a header and separate them with a blank line. We're, we're good with that. So if I say, OK, look what it does. It puts a header for this group. Well, if the group header says conference room, I don't need it to keep saying it underneath it. So I can actually, you see how it says A, B, C across here? Just put your cursor up on A, right click, and you can say delete column, but we don't want to delete. You don't want to delete because we're using this information to sort by. So you don't want to delete it, but you can hide it. So hide column is what we're going to click. We're going to pick, boom. So it hides that column. So now it just says conference room has these objects, and the office has these objects, the reception has these, and so on. But every single one is listed. Here's a chair, one. Here's a chair, one of those. And another chair, one of those. But in Revit, what makes more sense for us is to compress this so that it only lists each item one time. So I'm going to do that right now. So what we do is we go over back to sorting and grouping. And down on the bottom of this thing, down here at the bottom of the schedule of properties, it says itemize every instance. And the box is checked. That means, and, and listen, Autodesk, if you're watching this, and you wrote itemize every instance, and you were trying to just be all fancy and make yourself look really important, maybe you could put in parentheses, show every one of them. You know, that makes more sense to people that are using this. So the checkbox for show every one of them is checked. So I'm gonna uncheck the box for show every one of them. I'm gonna say, okay. And so here's what Revit does. It compresses this thing down and squashes it, but some things disappear. And I'll tell you why, because we never did tell it to continue showing me what's in the room. So wait for it, sorting and grouping. We told it to, cat, to sort things by the room name, but then by what's in the room, the family and type. So now when I say, okay, it's gonna list each of the things in the room and how many of each one it is. So don't get scared if you forget to do that step because it did look kind of scary there for a second. All of a sudden, everything went blank. Like, oh no, what have we done? Just watch the video, rewind the video and follow the steps and you'll have, just like me, a schedule that has the name of the room and anything that's in it and how many of each item you've got. All right, so 
I am in hopes. I am in hopes that that helps you guys to, to come up with a schedule for all your furniture. You can do that for lighting fixtures. You can do that for anything in Revit. You can get a list of the room and all the objects that are in it and the quantities. All right. Well, that's about enough for right now. You guys have a fantastic day. And until we meet again, happy riveting. All right. Bye-bye.